Hey, look, a space. I guess the unbound goes there. Star Princess was weak, and the cat was worried. Meow, Princess. Meow. Look, meow looks sick. Like sick meows. Are meow okay? The cat meowed. The princess looked up to the night sky and thought, It's time to say goodbye. To leave the world behind. Oh no. I have something for you, my dearest friend. A parting gift. I'll show you my last miracle. Something was shining bright on the palm of her hand. It was the miracle. The cat was stunned and awe. But it cried too. Oh, meow princess, please no do that. I don't want you to let meow go. The cat meowed. The princess just smiled and stared into the cat's teary eyes. Everyone else just wanted my miracles, but you're the only one who stayed afterwards. Thank you for being my friend. Snap. I can't. Me neither. It was bright and warm. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust. And it was scattered to the sky. But her light stayed within this pretty yellow flower. Left behind and alone, the cat hugs the flower to itself. <laughs> oh, princess, the world doesn't deserve you. I know. So, what do you think, Mr. Co-Writer? It was great. Your story was so touching, and I can't wait to listen to the rest. The world, the adventure, and the characters, I love them all. But the princess, I love her the most. Aw, phew. I'm glad you liked it. I was kind of worried and not really confident about it at all. At first, I was gonna make the princess turn into a comet when she passed away, and then she would be destroyed, and then she would have destroyed the planet and devoured all the creatures that stole their miracles. But that would be too brutal of a way to end the story, you know? So I decided to scrap that. Yeah, I think that's too violent and doesn't fit you at all. By the way, Where'd you get the idea for the comment? Well, it was last night. I was really upset and worried. And I looked outside in the window. I looked outside the window for inspiration and suddenly saw a beautiful comet flash across the sky. Oh, jeez. I wish I was awake last night. But still, I can't believe it ends like this. What a sad fate for the South Star Princess. Do you want to hear the final chapter? Final chapter? There's more of it? Yes. It'll be more like an epilogue, but we can think of it as a final chapter. I wanted to tell a story about the cat's final adventure. The cat, well, um... The yellow flower. They're about to, uh... Huh? Weird. Huh? What's wrong? All of a sudden, I can't think of anything. My mind's gone blank. It was on the tip of my tongue. Hey, why don't we try to get out and get some fresh air? It may help you clear your thought. Hmm, okay.
like you said, let's go outside and get some fresh air. How about now? Feeling any better? Um... I don't know. What happened? Do you have writer's block? I don't know. It feels like something... There's something dark and scary. It's making me too afraid to continue and find out what kind of story I wanted to tell. Hmm. I think that's definitely writer's block. Hey, maybe it's time to use the magic red book. The magic red what? The magic red book! Have you forgotten about it? The book which contains a spell to dive into our deepest heart and get rid of its turmoil. Oh, that red book. Yeah. We've used it now and again. Where is it? Um, I think I forgot where I put it. I'm sorry. I'm so careless. Hey, no worries. I'll help you look for the red magic book. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe I can put it somewhere... Maybe I put it somewhere around here? Can you look for something red? Okay, I'm on it. Wait, you can run in this game like in a fighting game? This is one of the first games that is not like fighting game related that allows you to do that that I've ever played. Hey, where are you going? Help me with the red magic book, will you? That's so cool. I'm very much a fan of this. There's also a, um, a run button. What a strange thing to have forgotten about. <laughs> I found a red book. This must be the magic red book. Hey, is this what you were looking for? The magic red book! You found it! Go on then. Try to use the book. But I'm afraid of using it by myself. Oh, you. Can you help me, dear magical Mr. Co-Writer? Please, 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 please. Whoa, calm down. Okay, I'll help, I'll help. Just tell me how to use it. I don't remember. When you see it, you just have to open the book. See it? See what? You'll see a dancing flower above someone's head. Dancing flower, huh? Yeah, believe me. That's the power of the magic red book. And then you just open the book? Is that it? No dancing or chanting required? Yes, it is. Hurry up and just try it out already. All right. We're doing this to get rid of whatever it is that you're scared of. And to find the final chapter that I want to tell. I'm scared. I'm just too scared to think about the final chapter to look for it. I'm afraid to find out what lies beneath. What if it turns out bad? Everyone will think I'm a weirdo. Just think. I've never finished anything before. This final chapter. Will I ever be able to finish it? I picked up a key. I wonder what door it opens. Weirdo. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. A one-year-old baby wrote this. This is a paper just a waste of ink. Delusional. You should have locked yourself away. Who wrote this garbage? What a mess. Poor thing. It was bright and warm. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust and was scattered into the sky above. But her light stayed within this pretty yellow flower. I had an idea. 
It might be useful. This story... I'm still afraid, but this... Can I? Should I tell this story? Should I finish it? Yes! This could be it! Whoa. I just realized how far we've walked. Yeah! Amazing, isn't it? It is. It feels like I'm walking in outer space. Kinda like an out-of-body experience. You know what? We should come up with a cool name for when we use the Magic Red Book. I think Space Dive sounds cool. What do you think? Space Dive? Hmm. That sounds cool. And informative. Yeah, you're diving into the space of my heart. So, Space Dive. And does the Space Dive ritual actually help? Yes! I finally decided what the final chapter will be. Oh wow, cool! For real? Yes, it's the big blue star! The... Big blue star? Yes! The big blue star! It's called her. When the South Star Princess died, she wished to return there, to the place where she belongs. And the cat will be the one to escort her back? Exactly! Oh wow! That sounds like it'll be an exciting adventure to draw in right! Mr. Co-Writer's insight is, as always, extremely helpful! Nah, don't mention it. You're the one who came up with the Star Princess story in the first place. Well, I had to. This is our story. We made it together, right? Well, if you say so. So then... Hooray! Hooray! To the final chapter. Yes, the final chapter! Is there anything else we need to finish the story? Yeah, all we need to do is build the spaceship. Whoa, a spaceship? Yes, the cat will escort the yellow flower to the big blue star with the spaceship. And the good news is, I've already built the ship by myself. What? When did you... Can I see it? Where is it? <laughs> I've been working on it for the last three weeks, right after school. It was supposed to be a surprise for you. And of course, I built it in my super secret workshop across the river, so you wouldn't find it. Crossing the river by yourself? That sounds dangerous. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been back and forth loads of times. And look, I'm still here, aren't I? Anyway, I need something important to finish the ship. Something with magical power to propel it through space. And that thing is... Of course, the Star Princess's magic wand. And I left it at home. Oh, well that sucks. Should we go pick it up? No, no, no. I can't go there right now. My house is no good for now. My father, he's... Hey, don't worry about it. The magic wand is in your room, right? I'll go get it. Um, is that really okay? I mean, you've done so much already. And if someone sees you, they might think you're breaking in. No worries, I'll stealthy, I'll stealthy it like a cat. You know? I'm sorry for making you do this. Seriously, don't worry about it. I'll help you as much as I can, but... You have to promise me you won't cross the river by yourself. We started this together and we'll finish it together. Okay? Yeah, you're right. I promise, I'll be waiting for you. Do you remember where my bedroom is? My room's on the second floor and the magic wand is somewhere on my table. Oh, one more thing. If you get lost, my cat, Busk, will always know where to go. Copy that. Good luck. I'll be waiting for you there. I'll be waiting for you here. You should wait for me at the base camp. It's quite dangerous to wander around here. Hmm, I guess you're right. But the air is so nice and fresh here. It might give me some inspiration for the final chapter. Alright, just be quick, okay? Okay. Oh, one last thing. You said that already, you know. Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. No, that's not it. I want to say something else. What up? Thank you for everything. 
You're the best co-writer I've ever had. Aw. No need to be so melodramatic now. I'll be back soon. Hi, Sonny. Use too much salt? Aw. Does that make it inedible? Traffic's bad enough as it is. You want you want me to hit your fancy car, huh? Comic Kamali, Comic Kamali, 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 Kamal, Comic Kamal, Comic Kamal. Maybe I should change the name to something more attention-grabbing. Huh, I wonder what kind of food that is. Well, only a little too much. Not like that time when we put 20 grams of salt on our plate. Holy fuck! The Great Comet of Doom has torn the sky! Behold! The stars are dying. Our sky is falling! Oh, wandering soul, have you seen last night's news? The Comet of Doom has finally come. Don't you want salvation, my dear child? For only one million rupees, you can own this spirit-infused gemstone made from a meteorite. This gemstone is a holy talisman that will save you from the cataclysm. What, don't believe me? How dare you! This gemstone was crafted by... Uh, the famous oracle! Jebediah himself! What, no money? Well, I guess it is your destiny to be cursed, then. Kids these days are just the worst. Back in my day, we had to do whatever our parents told us to do. Why are you sorry, Sonny? You didn't do anything wrong. Well, not to me. Maybe you oversalted your food, but you're fine. Sub dude, what do you think? Huh? What? I'm sorry. This Kernicog beat. It's a mixtape I recorded myself. So what do you think? Uh, yeah, cool, totally awesome. Dude. I know, right? Not everybody appreciates Kernicog, especially these days. It's an old music genre brought over by the colonialists, and then perfected by our locals. It's soothing, you know? A perfect companion for people looking to relax and escape the world for a while. Hey, you know what? You can take my demo tape, it's a gift. Huh? Oh, no. Uh, you don't have to... Please, dude, it's such a rare occasion. Meeting a fellow Kernicog music fan, you know? Besides, I can always make another mixtape whenever I want. Oh, thank you very much, I guess? I got a Kernicog cassette tape. I don't really understand Kernicog music, though. So I guess if it's cassette tapes in this world, then maybe this is like the 80s? Ah, uh, there's a sign on this ladder. This ladder is a property of a civil defense officer. Don't touch. 
Hmm. In today's news, another interstellar comet has been sighted flying over the city. It's the third comet to be seen this week. Neither the government or the National Space Agency have released any official statements regarding these peculiar events. Huh. Looks like the world's gonna end soon, huh? Lucky me. I'm already married. Is that girl following me? Her house should be around this block. Oh no, somebody's here. Hello, Mrs. Dewey. I... Are you going to the meeting too? Why don't we walk over there together? Of course. Oh, you're not bringing your daughter with you? No. <sighs> What's the matter? Is there a problem? My daughter lately... She's been afraid of going to school. And my husband... While things aren't going well with his boss, he's been a little stressed over, well... Over the money we've had to borrow to get Narmala to, into, to get Narmala into school, and... He's taking it all out on Narmala. Today, she locked herself in her room and refused to talk to us. God, I really don't know what to do. Oh my, I'm so sorry to hear that. Why has she been scared of going to school? I don't know yet. I want to talk to them uh, about all of this, but I really don't know what to say. Well, why don't we go to the meeting a little early, and we can talk about this on the way. Yes, yes, that's a good idea, thank you. Don't worry. You can share your problems with me. That's what neighbors are for, right? They're gone. Now's my chance. Hmm. This must be our house. The gate's locked, but her father is likely inside. It'll be dangerous to sneak in through the front door. Maybe it'll be easier if I pretended I was here to visit her? But I can't risk letting her father know that she sneaked out of the house. Besides, he'd think I was a creepy... He would think it would, I was... Besides, he'd think I was a creepy high school student stalking an underage kid. This is all too risky, but I have to get her a magic wand for her. What should I do now? Hey, how long have you been up there? Oh yeah, that window on the second floor must lead directly into her room. Now, how am I supposed to reach the second floor? I might be able to reach the second floor if I could walk across this wall. But the wall itself is too high for me to reach. Hmm, if only there was something I could climb or stand on. So I actually relate to that weird kind of social situation they're in. Uh, because when I was in middle school, I was friends with a ton of high schoolers. busy. I'm always so busy and sleepy. Exactly what an exemplary low-paid civil defense officer should be. Hey, kid. What are you doing with my ladder? I, uh, I'm just amazed by your ladder, sir. Wow, this ladder looks really strong. And, uh, Chrome! Have you been smoking something funny, kid? I hope you don't cause me any trouble, kid. Nobody touches my ladder. Can't you see that I'm already busy enough? I wish I... I get some sleep, though. Damn. I could definitely use that ladder to get into Narmala's room. Do I have anything else with me? Magic red book. Is that useful right now? Time for a space dive. Whoa, 
Oh, that flower is blooming. I wonder what will happen if I made all these flowers bloom. Can't turn it off. What a strange clock. <sighs> so sleepy. Staying awake, you see a comment last night really took it out of me. I've been staying awake by just staying busy, but now all I want to do is sleep forever. But I can't fall asleep just yet, not without shutting off that loud ringing sound. Not without turning off all these damn bright lights. And of course, not without listening to my favorite Kernicog music to distress. All I want right now is to be asleep. Found a baton. Should I resort to violence? I chose violence. This feels so good. I'm gonna close my eyes for just a minute. Can't hurt, right? Oh wow, he's fast asleep already. Thanks to this magic red book, I guess. You won't mind if I borrow the ladder then, will he? Time to pick up the magic wand. Enjoy your lark, Specky. There it is, the Star Princess's magic wand. I still can't believe she managed to come up with all these wonderful things. Nirmala, what a precious, talented kid. I got the magic wand. <gasps> Brett, open the door. You ungrateful waste of space. How dare you lock this door? You're, sk you're skipping school again, aren't you? Open the freaking door. You're still freaking doodling and writing that stupid nonsense, aren't you? Have you got any idea how much money I have to borrow just to get you into a decent school? And this is how you repay me, you spoiled little brat. Oh, snap. Things are getting tense around here. I better get out of here before her father smashes his door open. It's starting to rain. She should be waiting for me at the base camp. The rain is getting heavier. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope she's reached base camp by now. Where is she? She hasn't got here yet? Help! Huh? Someone help! Anyone help! Help somebody! That voice. Don't tell me. Eh. Ah! 
Master, help, help! I can't swim! Nirmala! Help me, I can't swim! <laughs> Damn. I can't swim either. Hang on, I have to find something to reach her. And just come here quick, please! I don't think I can hold on much longer, I'm scared! Here, try to grab the wand. Damn it. Sorry, I was so sorry about the thunder. Don't worry. I will get you out from there. Hold on. All right. Try to grab the book. Uh, easy. Easy. Just a little bit. I... I'm... <laughs> coming... Uh, coming to... get you? We'll make it... together. A Space for the Unbound Prologue Atma Atma Atma, hey Wake up, you lazy bum I was just dreaming about.
Coming soon.